Liverpool have succeeded in the bid to push forward the signing of Naby Keita, according to the Express. The Reds agreed terms with RB Leipzig over the midfield in the summer, but the sale of Philippe Coutinho has left the club short of cover in the middle. Their efforts to move up the transfer date have apparently been successful, and Keita could sign as early as Sunday. Manchester United are set to challenge Liverpool over the signature of Borussia Dortmund's US wonder kid Christian Pulisic claims the independent. Pulisic, 19, is already a regular starter with both club and country, and his added value as an icon in the lucrative US market makes him an attractive signing, and while Jurgen Klopp is a confirmed admirer of the stuff from his former club, he could face stiff competition from Old Trafford this summer. Manchester City and Arsenal target Johnny Evans has been set a deadline of just over two weeks to decide his future by West Brom, according to the Daily Mail. The former Man United man has seen his name linked with some of the Premier League's biggest clubs in the current window, but he will have to make up his mind by January 28, or his club will veto a move expected to be worth around £35 million. Arsenal's hopes of landing Malcolm have received a boost after Spurs called their interest in the Bordeaux man, reports the Daily Star. The 20-year-old has attracted interest from both sides of North London in recent weeks, and could be available this window for £45 million. But the Gunners, who see him as a possible replacement for Alexis Sanchez, seem to be in pole position as the rivals dropped out of the race. Manchester City have made a £45 million bid for Shakhtar Donetsk's Fred. According to the Manchester Evening News, the Brazilian has been identified by Pep Guardiola as the long-term successor to Fernandinho in midfield, although he may face competition from rivals United. Real Madrid have turned to Roma goalkeeper Alisson as a possible new number one at the Bernabeu, reports Jan. Luca Di Marzio, with Keylor Navas placed between the posts coming under scrutiny. A number of shot stoppers have been linked with a Madrid move. Among those is the Brazil star, who has gained many fans with his fine performances in Serie A. Arsenal have joined the likes of Inter and Celta in pursuing Barcelona midfielder Rafinha, according to Sport, ravaged by injuries. Rafinha has been made available for transfer at camp now as he seeks more playing minutes. Both Inter and Celta are keen to strike a loan deal in January, and with Arsenal now in the picture, the player will have no lack of options. Real Madrid president Florentino Perez is in talks with Manchester City over the possible signing of Raheem Sterling, claims Don Ballin. Sterling has seen marked improvement in his game since coming under the wing of Pep Guardiola, and that upturn in form has not escaped the attention of Perez, who sees him as a possible successor to Gareth Bale at the Bernabeu. Antonio Conte has redoubled his commitment to Chelsea amid speculation that he could be ready to walk out on the club after just 18 months in charge. Get the full story right here on Goal. Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger has insisted he is still committed to the Premier League club and has no plans to leave before the end of his contract in 2019. Get the full story right here on Goal. Tottenham's attempts to keep the first team together will continue with fresh contracts for Christian Eriksen and Heng Min Son, according to the Mirror. While Dele Alli and Harry Kane's deals are top priority at the club, they are also keen to tie down the midfield pair to long-term extensions. Arda Turan is on the verge of sealing a return to his native Turkey as he negotiates with Super League leaders Basak here, according to Sport. Frozen out of Ernesto Valverde's plans at Barcelona, Arda is set for an 18-month loan back home. Independent have confirmed Atlanta United target Ezekiel Barco will leave the club in a move believed to be worth $15 million. Get the full story right here on Goal. Robin van Persie will return to boyhood club Feyenoord after 18 years away from the Netherlands, according to Vertbal via The Sun. The former Arsenal and Manchester United star is expected to undergo a medical on Saturday, having fallen out of favour at Fenerbahce. Antonio Conte has denied that Chelsea were interested in signing Leicester City striker Jamie Vardy. Get the full story right here on Goal. Manchester City have identified nice midfielder Jean Michael Serry as a possible signing, according to L'Equipe. Serry, who was close to a Barcelona move in the summer, would add more depth to the City midfield and is highly rated through his displays in League One. Atletico Madrid are considering an approach for Torino's Andrea Bellotti, according to Gianluca Di Marzio. With Antoine Griezmann's future far from certain, the Liga side see Torino's Italy international as a fine replacement in the summer. Arsenal want Anthony Marshall included in any deal that would take Alexis Sanchez to Manchester United, according to the Daily Star.
Ghana's boss Arsene Wenger wants a replacement before he allows Lexus to leave, and he is hopeful Marshall can be that player. United are reluctant to let Marshall go, however, though they would be willing to include Chris Smalling in the deal should Arsenal be keen on the centre-back. Paris Saint-Germain coach Unai Emery insisted the Ligue 1 giants would not be shaken by rumours Maymar is set to join Real Madrid. The players are smart and the club have gained experience. I also have experience and I know that people from outside can disrupt us, some people who may have some interest in doing so, he said. For example, if you read today the first sport newspaper in Spain, the cover is that Maymar is going to Real Madrid. These things don't shake us. Get the full story right here on Goal. Manchester United are ready to give David De Gea a massive raise in an attempt to fend off interest from Real Madrid. According to The Sun, Madrid are still circling for the 27-year-old and with De Gea's contract set to expire in 2019, the Red Devils want to offer a new deal to lock down the prized goalkeeper. Man United reportedly plan to up De Gea's £210,000 a week wages to £300,000 a week, making him the club's joint highest paid player along with Paul Pogba.